traffic from the car so that other cars won't hit hit them while they're working on the on the uh, on the victim that's inside the car. All these firemen come up, they grab these heavy tools. The first thing they'll do. Miss Gomez may have. 
and it gives her lots of room to get her out, get into the ambulance, and go to the hospital as soon as possible. See how she's still in the driver's seat? Can you imagine if she didn't have her seatbelt on? She could be in the back seat, she could get thrown out the window, but instead, just like a roller coaster, she gets hit and she stays right where she's at intact with less injuries because of the fact that she's wearing her seatbelt. And I asked her, she says she even wears her seatbelt even when she goes a tiny, tiny distance. Just not just like she's going to school only a mile away, she still wears her seatbelt the whole time. We got one more post to cut. Now they're spreading it apart. They're going to lay that thing all the way to the ground. Yeah. I think our firefighters got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys think they got it? Yeah. All right. Let's see if our let's see if our teacher's injured. She's getting out of the car now. She looks like she's in pretty good shape. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. stations real soon and this is where they learn this place where you guys and girls are all at this is where they learn how to become firefighters and that's what they did this is one of many jobs that they know how to do to get people out of cars when they're smashed up and a lot of times cars are even smashed up worse than this and that's what the draw of the life and the scissors do